okay hello friends this is yusuf here welcome to another interesting video so in this video what we are going to do uh, we are going to try calling uh, the uh, ibm commands or programs from a java program okay so this we are going to do with the same uh, jd400 jar so previously you might have seen my video about uh, how to connect uh, using jdbc using JD, jd400 jar and you can retrieve the physical file data in uh, query the data from your java program okay so now what we are going to do uh, we are going to call a is founder program or now is any uh, is founder command or program via java program so this is a program again uh, what i have done is i have my folder in the, in that folder i have the jd400 jar and i have a program okay so this program is nothing but uh, just importing the com ibm is 400 dot access uh, library right and then uh, we just have some uh, server ip user id and password as blanks okay uh, actually this is not needed anyway so i'm not passing the password here and then we have the command directly here so I'm, what i'm going to do i'm just trying to create one uh, physical file uh, in the server okay so then uh, unfortunately or fortunately the uh, library is called uh, as400 so we are initiating a object of class as400 okay and then uh, with that uh, you know see the system basically what we have created we are creating a new command using this uh, class called command cal okay after that we can do like a command at run so basically what we are doing we are doing command at run with the cl command which is nothing but what we have defined here uh, this will give us either true or false if it is true then the command ran successfully if not it failed okay so in both the cases we will get the output from the server uh, in the get message list uh, function which is nothing but uh, uh, the command variable will have a set of messages which can be retrieved using get message list and then i'm just iterating if the length is greater than zero which means we have some message then we are just iterating over the array to display what it is in the case of any exceptions uh, we're just displaying the exception and then we are exiting okay after we disconnecting from the server so it's a very simple program uh, we want to see how it's going to work okay so what i'm going to do from this folder i'm just going to say command so that it will open up my command prompt with this folder as base okay then recently one of our friend uh, told that uh, the jd400 didn't work after placing the file in the jrelib okay so today what i'm going to show here how do we run the jd400 jar by specifying the class path directly so which means here what we are going to do we're going to first compile it so java c then with the parameter hyphen cp which means class path and what i'm telling uh, star semicolon dot which means star means all the system class path and then take the jars from a current directory which is dot okay consider this set of jars and then try to compile it my program this command called dot java so what it does is actually it's compiling the program and giving us the dot class file once we have that we're going to say java hyphen cp star semicolon dot so in windows we need to use semicolon to separate dot jars in case of linux and mac you need to use colon okay fine so then the name of the so if you see in the server i already have the file so if you try to execute this what happens so it is trying to run it and asking for a password if you give the password it's failed because it's already exist okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this one okay and then i'm going to rerun it again so if you are specifying the password directly in the program then it will not come again okay so now you see it's created in library so if you go here and then press f5 we see the data i mean we see the file with no data so now you got the whole idea right so we can just directly call uh, a command or a program or whatever it is from the cl i mean the java program now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to make it dynamic which means uh, here is hard coded right so instead of hard coding it i'm going to get this value from the args variable so the basically we can pass the argument for the program using this args array so i'm taking the first element of the args array see i'm saving it and then i'm just going to uh, compile again okay now this time while testing i can pass the uh, argument like this okay so i'm going to say call the way we see the other one okay why i'm telling this because i have a program here okay which has only one line of code which is inserted into the test java pf with the data 
okay so now right now if you see run query the way was test java you don't see any record because there is no record i'm going to call this sales user one program okay like this so now this is args variable uh, i mean parameter so it should be passed inside the program so if you call this one you can see now it's trying to run that command because that's the argument it's asking for a password anyway so let me give it so then it's done so it's done successfully okay so if you go and then check the file we, we got the record okay so yeah uh, basically we can run any kind of cl uh, pro i hope because i have not tested it completely i just came across this example and i felt interesting so i'm just sharing it so say for example instead of pass i can do something like uh, display system status output star print so what just happened is it's trying to run it again okay so it's ran so if you go to work splf for my lab, my user profile shift f6 i can see the data here already okay i hope it's a current system time yes anyway so this is what i wanted to cover uh, in this video i hope you would have felt interesting and i wanted to cover two things one is how to run the jd400 from your uh, command prompt using the class path and how actually we are calling the command itself from the java program so i hope you felt uh, interesting and it could be useful for one of you because anyway i'm not using it in my project okay so yeah that's the end of this video i, I know it's a short one but uh, interesting one so i'll see you in the next video with a different concept until then thanks for watching